So, what's up guys, we're back with episode 2 of Daily Uploading. Um, as you can see, I've changed my name to Ambrose. Um, I don't really know, it, it sounds really weird for people that know me as Bedank, but... Yeah, we're just gonna stick with it now, and if it, you know, turns out to be good, then if I turn out to be a megastar, then, you know, awesome, dude. But if I just turn out to be a drug dealer, let's, let's just say that, you know, it's probably the fault of me changing my name to Ambrose. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the daily uploading and the new channel name. But yeah, let's, let's pretty much talk about this new thing that's going on, right? So... This, this man, I, I don't even want to call him a man, I want to call him a fucking sewer mutant, okay? This sewer mutant named Tom Tillis, I don't even know how to say his name, basically was funded a ton of money to enact legislation against people who use copyrighted, you know, music in their videos. Now, I can understand, like, coming from a, a music maker's perspective, right? Like, I can kind of get into their mind and be like, oh, I, I don't want people, you know, kind of taking profits away from me in some weird complicated way i can kind of see where their reasoning uh, is i mean like 21 savage has allowed some person to use their music on stream like there's a ton of people there's a ton of actual artists that have you let people use music on stream so i don't think that the artists really care but it's all up to these record labels. Like, I, I don't think the artists have a single say in it whatsoever. So yeah, these record labels have just been filling Tom Tillis's pockets with all this cash to, you know, when I said legislate on people that use copyrighted music, you probably thought, oh, you know, give them a little suspension. No, Tom Tillis is trying to put them in jail. Like, prison time. Not even a fine. Not this. Not that. Fuck. Go to prison. Like, could you imagine? Imagine, right? You play you play some like Ariana Grande, you play some Drake on your stream accidentally. Imagine if it was a fucking accident too. Like and you go to jail, right? And then you, you get your cellmate and your cellmate just says some shit like, Oh man, uh, what are you in for? Because I'm in for bombing a preschool, raping a zoo animal, going back in time and starting the fucking Holocaust. And then you have to reply to them, Oh yeah, man, well I was just uh I do this streaming thing and I uh I played three seconds of a Drake song. <laughs> like you motherfucker, you would have no no power you'd have no respect in prison i mean like typically in society we punish things proportionate you know you know in some weird sense of proportion that we have to the to the crime okay like obviously the punishment for you know bombing a preschool should be much worse than the punishment for running a fucking red light okay it's obvious that's not even debatable okay so by that logic we can like we, we can tell there's kind of a there's kind of a spectrum for how we like judge crimes and how how they should be punished by right now i'm no eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth guy like i think that shit's completely retarded but i think the eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth concept holds up way better in this case than sending people to jail oh my god what i mean by this is like if you're playing someone's music on stream, you are taking a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a cent from this, you know, corporation, right? So, in return, you know, a pr probably a fair response would be to uh, take a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a cent from them, right? But they don't even do that, right? Nor should they, in my opinion, because it disincentivizes it and causes a ton of people to take a fraction of a cent from them and, you know, ultimately does take a little bit of money. So, they have to be punished in a way that can you know recognize hey we want our fucking money right but i think you know just taking that person's money is already enough okay i don't think you need to put them in motherfucking jail i, I just think the simple fact that there are legislators in these positions that are actually willing to do things like this just it, it's just terrible these people need to be kicked out they need to not have a job they need to you know if they actually want the job back maybe understand the online community in any fraction of your imagination just try to understand how absolutely ludicrous it is for you know one person just to be gaming you know maybe streaming a little bit playing some fucking music and just get fucking nuclear bombed in terms of like how your life's going okay like I, this guy is either a complete fucking psychopath or a complete fucking psychopath like like seriously what is wrong with you dude like i i hate to moral fag like i straight up hate to moral fag right but i'm telling you right now if if you know a ton of corporations were funding me money 
to to do the same law if it was a billion dollars if it was a trillion dollars if it was the entire u.s economy i'm not taking it like i'm just not doing that it's, it's just straight up i'm not causing this unnecessary harm done to people right i'm just not doing that it's outside of my moral compass and it's completely inconsistent and hey if if this is consistent with your moral compass sending people to fucking prison because they play some music then i mean like your, your moral compass ain't got no north bro it ain't got no south it, it, it's it's on a whole nother dimension okay like we're talking about like fourth dimension like it can warp through time like it's not a compass bro it's a it's a, it's a space navigator okay you know what needs to happen like honestly i think this will be a fantastic idea like i know it's so unpragmatic but like okay let, let, let's just give the idea okay every single person in the u.s like streams copyrighted music okay so they have to put literally everyone in jail okay and see how dumb it is i like i'm being straight up right now i would take one for the team i'm joining that fucking i'm joining that shit real easy dude i you you are catching me you are catching me like hopping on this protest where we all just like play copyrighted music oh what would be like even better it's like if they got like a protected class person like a like a uh a not able-bodied like a like a um a handicapped person dude ricky berwick needs to play copyrighted music on his stream some person who is like like mentally handicapped needs to do it and then like so we like we just have everybody dogpiling on tom tillis because he deserves it dude and i don't mean to like you know put ricky berwick or you know anyone that's not able-bodied down but like what i'm saying is like that would be so much more effective than some you know like five ten white guy who it has like a doctorate and monkey science okay like no one's gonna care or like a very popular person like if pewdiepie fucking corpse husband oh dude oh my god we're out we're brainstorming and i'm not even talking to anyone oh my god i mean i think another really effective way of combating this would be if like ariana grande 21 savage like huge artists all just came out and said hashtag fuck dmca like that would be awesome i would throw a fucking celebration time okay but like obviously people like ariana grande don't need to make money but people like small people that are signed to a record label are never gonna do this they're never gonna do this they lose all their income like they're, they're fucked they're completely fucked they can never you know make the same type of music i guess i don't really know how that show works but i'm assuming that if you're in a record label then and you have like a certain style of music if you you know don't use their equipment anymore you're probably not going to be able to make that replicate that same exact style of music but like people are not gonna like artists are not gonna do it the only other way that we can do it is just by uniting come up coming up with these clever like kamikaze strategies where we just fucking take one for the team i think that shit is really entertaining like i i love seeing like internet epidemics where everyone conservatives liberals twitch streamers youtubers fucking black people white people but everyone unites together and we fight against like a certain entity i love it i love it so fucking much but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy episode two of daily uploads uh we're gonna keep continuing to do this stuff i want to talk about politics i want to talk about you know like twitch youtube news and stuff like that stuff that i just find interesting really but like if you guys have any suggestions i would definitely love to hear them leave them down below in the comment section and uh subscribe to the channel like the video do whatever you got to and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time peace peace and stay dank motherfuckers